If you're a regular viewer of my channel, then you may wonder why I've never done an Xbox 360 game review. Well, that's because I think they're a pile of shit. And I had a PlayStation 3 at the time which had many advantages over the Xbox 360. But there were a few games that were on 360 that were pretty good and exclusive to that system. Like this one, the Capcom Digital Collection. But, is this one any good? It's a little look. Digital remasters were aplenty on the Xbox 360 and PS3, and here we have a collection of them on a physical disc. There's 8 games to choose from, Super Street Fighter 2 HD Remix, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, 1942 Joint Strike, Commando 3 Wolf of the Battlefield, Rocket Men, Axis of Evil, It Came From Uranus. Yeah, it came from Uranus. I bet that's a pile of shit. Plot, Final Fight Double Impact, and Bionic Commando 2 Rearm. What do these games have that's better than the originals? Well, let's have a little look. Super Street Fighter 2 is first on the list. Now this game had a massive graphical makeover. Everything here has been drawn from scratch. The graphics look more like an anime film, with vibrant colours and stunning stages. Everything else remains the same, from the character roster which has all the Super Street Fighter characters, and all the controls and special moves are the same. The music has been re-recorded to sound even better than the original. Playing this version is a treat. It plays absolutely perfect. And although I love the originals, I'd have no issue playing this one as much as the old ones. There are two modes to choose between, Remix and Arcade, but the only difference I saw between them is the difficulty. Now you can choose your difficulty setting before you start, but with the Arcade setting I immediately noticed that even on easy I got my ass handed to me. Definitely sticking to the Remix version for this game. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo was a game more common on the Sega Saturn than the original PlayStation. I'll be honest, I've never played the original, as it wasn't my sort of thing. But for any fan of the original, you'll notice a huge graphic upgrade here. There's a few modes you can choose from, where it can be more like columns. Here I chose a standard version, where you drop your blocks down to the bottom, matching as many colours as possible. When the same colour group gets so many on top of each other, they form to make a large gem. When the same colour orb comes down, you can hit the corresponding colour to attack your opponent. This will send a chunk of gems to their side, giving them less room to manoeuvre. Once they can't match any more gems in the same space they have left, you win. Quite a good challenging game that I wish I had got back in the day, really. <laughs> <laughs> Joint Strike is a remake of the classic arcade game of the same name. You pilot an aircraft up a vertically scrolling screen shoot everything in sight whilst trying to avoid their gunfire. The graphics and sound are amazing on this game, although I'm really bad at playing this type of game as I focus more on the enemies than the bullets coming towards me. If you're a fan of the 19xx series, then this should appeal to you. It combines all elements from 1941, 42 and 43 to make it the ultimate version. This includes a health meter, ranking up and enemies on the ground. It's a tricky game as it goes on, but I'd still play this one again.
Commando 3 is an overhead run and gun just like the original, although the sound is insane, especially through a surround sound system. There's not much difference. You can use the right stick to shoot in the direction you push. Grenades can be thrown and special attack will cause huge destruction. Again, like vertical shooters, it can be hard to avoid return fire, but thankfully you'll have a health gauge, so you won't die instantly. Not a bad game, but it can wear thin after a while. pretty much the same as Commando, but with a space theme and some story I really had no interest in. Graphically it looks nice and the gameplay controls are that of Commando game in this game. You complete objectives in each mission, like here was to deactivate mines. The weapons are quite creative with saw blades and lasers. Again this was something that I got bored of quickly. It's down to the quantities of enemies that appear and all shoot at the same time. I can't be arsed with that shit. For people who like that sort of thing, this would be a good game to try out. Not for me though. Flock. Nothing I've ever seen before in this simple yet fun little game. You control the UFO to guide sheep into the mother fluffer. Simple as that. The sheep are scattered about a field where you have to chase them and force them to go towards the ship. Some sheep are hiding behind trees, but you can watch the direction of your ship's antenna to locate them. It's not a hard game by any means. Your biggest challenge is to get them all in before your bonus counter runs down. Final Fight Double Impact hasn't had a great deal done to this. I bought this one on the PS3, which also came with Magic Sword. You play the arcade game as normal, but you have achievements to get. Also the visuals can be changed, from screen sizes to screen appearance, like smooth or original. The music has been changed too, it's still the same as the original, but more easy on the ears. It's still hard as bollocks though. And lastly is Bionic Commando 2. If you're a fan of the NES game then you may like this too. It's now a 2.5D game where it looks pretty good. The controls feel smooth and it definitely seems easier to control than the character on the previous versions. It can take some time to get used to the physics of the character but it's not a hard task. Enemies will drop health sometimes so you're not always fighting for your life. Again, a fun little game.
Overall, this is a good compilation of games with a nice variety of genres. The work done to these games are very good and don't really spoil the look of them. It's a recommended game to have, as with these games being digital downloads, there's always that chance you could lose them with the console one day, whether something unfortunate happens to your account or you forget your password. I believe that physical media is always the best, plus they look nice on the shelf. Thank you.